Hey y'all, so I um, told you guys I was going to come back and give you guys an update and um, the people that I spoke to that was interested in like the breast reduction and everything that we kind of been like DMing on Instagram and stuff. So I said I would go ahead and post the video to show you guys, you know, like how my boobs look and everything um, prior to the surgery. Today is Sunday. And I go in Tuesday. And so listen, y'all gonna have to bear with me on how I uh figure this out because I don't really know how to how to show it like um what as far as YouTube go because I don't want like I mean I ain't got no issue with showing y'all, but like I don't want um YouTube basically like striking me or whatever. So I gotta figure that part out. Cause I mean I know I can put it up. I just have to like put sensitive con uh like content, like censored content or some shit like that. Because I mean I didn't see a lot of titties on YouTube. So you know I didn't see a lot of naked people in surgeries and stuff. So I know I can put it on there. My eyes water. But I just don't know like how. So for now I'm just gonna show you guys this, which you still can clearly see how big my boobs are so i'm going to try to show them as much as the camera as i can um this right here okay so right now i currently have on a <clears throat> strapless dress right and you can see this is what i'm talking about like you can clearly see you know what i'm saying this is something i don't wear outside right because i don't like the way it look you know what i'm saying like this is the bottom of my body you know what i'm saying and these are my damn boobs you see them like you know what i mean so this bra right here, it's a strapless bra from Lane Bryant. And I believe the size is like, I have H cups, right? And so I know the number is kind of like the band size, but I'm like a 44, 42, 44, right? So yeah. So anyways, I'm just gonna pull these down so you guys can see. And yeah. So I think without me like actually like showing, showing you guys, let me fix this. I think without me like actually like Pulling this down to show you guys, you can clearly see what I am working with. Um, this bra I don't really like, I don't know. It used to fit kind of good. <laughs> it kind of still do now, but I feel like I kind of outgrown it also because it's like, you know what I'm saying? My boobs is kind of, <sighs> y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's like sitting on top and then like, yeah, I kind of have like the side boob. Y'all don't mind my deodorant. I got like the side boob right there, you know, and it's kind of pushing. I don't know, but if you got big boobs, it's not that simple to just find a strapless bra. So if you get one that just sit around and actually cover these bitches, like that's what you got to go with. So this is it right here. Can y'all see him? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. This is probably not the best thing to do for, for a video. But anyways, yeah, so... This is my size right now, you guys. As you can see, um, I don't know. If you can see my back or whatever. Close down here. So, so these are how my boobs look, right? And um, I know somebody asked me like size wise. Okay, so here's here's my thing with the size. Um, of course the doctor asks you like preference and stuff. And I know before I told him, um, I was like. You know, I think I want like a single D, like, you know, a small D or whatever. And then, um, but then I don't know, like I talked to other people and they're like, well, you know, they puff up after like a few weeks, you know, get a little bigger and stuff. So like, I'm kind of confused because like, I kind of want a C cup, but then I don't want to like overdo it and get them too small. And then I'd be sitting like in my feelings and I'm like, oh my God, bitch, I got no titties left. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's one of those things like I don't really know I still think I'm gonna do you know lean towards the the smaller D versus saying like full C that way you know um I still have something left you know what I'm saying um because I, I just know that going down from you know going from an H to a D is still gonna be very drastic for me okay it's gonna be very drastic for me so it, it'll be okay or whatever right so I think that's what I'm gonna do and um you guys can see my little belly i'm probably gonna like i really just got like i got underwear shorts <laughs> i got underwear shorts on under here so it's not like you know it's not like i'm just out here just ass naked on youtube so i'm gonna show you guys let me step out this dress because it just pulls up anyway so yeah so maybe you guys can see but this is like full body for me so i know you guys like if you guys seen you know um what i had going on before 
then you know, you know what I'm saying, what's the difference. But you can clearly see I'm shrinking down here, but I'm this is not really going anywhere like talking about. My girlfriend's like, it looked like you lost a little boobs, but yeah, a little bit, but not that much. And y'all know my but it's not that big or whatever, but that's okay because I'm gonna get a big one. You know, not get a big one, but I'm gonna work on this small waist and stuff. So the only thing I can say right now, um, like, cause this, this right here is 21 pounds down, right? I know I'm all over the place, but y'all just bear with me. So um, the only thing I'm a little nervous about as far as the actual surgery go is, um like me looking down like when i look down now all i see is boob you know what i'm saying when i look down i just see boob um i just know after surgery when i look down i'm finally gonna meet my belly you know what i'm saying like my eyes are gonna meet my belly and i'll probably be like in my feelings you know what i'm saying so yeah because i feel like i should have like i don't know i should have lost like way more weight in my belly should be flatter right now so that way when i get smaller boobs i'm not like oh my god like my stomach is huge as you know what i'm saying because right now because i have big boobs my stomach just you know when people look at me the first thing they see is boobs you know what i'm saying and then you know the stomach just kind of blends in with the boob you know what i'm saying so when the boobs are gone like you're gonna see my stomach so you know whenever i'm able to get a chance to work out, you know, and stuff, I will make sure I focus on like, you know, some little kind of ab exercises, you know, like planks and stuff, just more things than what I was doing before as far as just like walking and stuff, because I want to make sure this belly is going or whatever. But um, yeah, so um, I got my, uh, you know, I went and take the COVID test the other day because they like require you to take the COVID test before surgery and everything. So I did that. And um, I go in Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. The surgery is scheduled for 9. I go in for 7. I don't really know um, how it's going to go. You know what I'm saying? I know they're going to put me to sleep and everything. I know I won't remember shit because, yeah, when I had surgery before, I didn't remember anything. You know what I'm saying? I just woke up in recovery. It's supposed to be a same-day surgery if everything goes okay or whatever. Um, How I'm feeling right now about it is, like, I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I'm so excited to get rid of this. However, I am terrified at the same time, if that makes sense any goddamn sense i'm absolutely terrified because like you know it's surgery and on top of that so okay one of my co-workers that i used to work with she um she uh she went and got the surgery right and so we don't have the same doctor but like she went um i think like almost two weeks ago now about a, about a week and a half and she sent me her boobs because you know you can unwrap them like after 48 hours and like i already know for me like i'm a whole emotional gangster so i know i'm about to cry like i ain't even going i ain't going you i know i'm gonna cry like i know because i know it's gonna be ugly like i know i'm gonna look like a stitched up chucky doll and so I know I ain't gonna be happy about that. Like, I know I'm gonna cry. I know I'm gonna be in my feelings. And then the fact that I had to sit still and shit, like I know it's not gonna, I'm just not gonna be a good thing for me. And um, and so she is, um, she sent me a picture of her boobs and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, it looks so freaking scary. Like it look, it look, it look a hot mess. And I don't know how it's not like, I don't know. It's not changing my mind about it. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I just went ahead. I'm just going to charge it to the game. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to be with me. And it's just, just that. Because these puppies got to go. Because I feel like they are hindering me way too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, so right now, I'm just looking forward to the after process. I just, I just want to heal. I'm not going to rush anything, you know. I just want to heal so I can get back to my normal routine. You know, I just want to be able to work out and stuff. And they already told me I won't be able to exercise until a month later. And then when you do start, like gradually increase your exercise or whatever because you know you can't you know do too much i mean i understand and so for the um the incision that he said he would give me okay my doctor said that i'll be getting like the anchor cut i guess it's probably common that's probably what everybody get i guess i don't really know but um so it's gonna be he's gonna make a circle around my nipple and he's gonna cut down and under you know so you know like an anchor circle right here go down and go under 
or whatever and that's what he's been doing both boobs um my friend now my doctor didn't mention it to me but her doctor she said didn't mention to her either um about the um cutting like back there like kind of by your arm fat i know the nurse did tell me that she's like um even though my boobs are large like i don't have that much fat right there you know what i'm saying that much fat you know um like compared to my boob size like it should be like a little bigger back there so i don't know if i'm gonna get it cut i say like to say like she got cut like up her arm like right here to get out like the back fat um so i don't know if i'll have to be cut like that um I don't know so that's just one of those things i guess i'll tell you guys afterwards so i will let you guys know how it go you know what i'm saying on tuesday and yeah so from here on out listen it's just it's a positive vibe type thing i ain't even tripping like i just i know what this is gonna do for me you know what i'm saying like the better i look the more money i'm gonna make and i know it and not saying that these babies look bad because these are money makers for some people but listen i don't want this to be my money make okay i'm over it like i'm just so looking forward to getting a bathing suit you know what i'm saying just getting a normal damn what do you call it like a shirt like just a normal shirt you know what i'm saying like i just want that so <sighs> that's it so um what i've been doing now since i'm just two days away i've just been preparing myself you know what i'm saying like um taking pictures and stuff you know having my little content ready because i don't know how long it's gonna be before i can actually like put a wig on my head and do all this other stuff so you know and like you know do my makeup and take me some pictures so i can have content for my pages and things like that and so yeah so i'm just i'm doing that now um and that's pretty much it so i just wanted to show you guys um i told you guys um Few days ago that my cycle kind of was just like going up or whatever so what well, well, was just coming it's kind of going away now so i never necessarily like weighed myself again because i told you guys you know during that part i just be weighing like extra five pounds but i was 225 then so i don't know if i dropped anything yet um babe birthday was this weekend it was friday and oh my god we had a party and y'all uh you know i get anxiety like i don't know I, like i'm social but i'm like I'm like a little like two three four five people social i'm not really like more into the 15 20 people so it was like so much for me it was just it was so much there was a lot of alcohol you know a lot of jello shots i still have like probably 30 jello shots in my fridge that needs to go you know, so yeah, I consumed a whole lot of calories and alcohol. I know I did, but it was a birthday. So, you know, we just did whatever. And I know like for my birthday, which is the 19th, like I know it's gonna, you know what I'm saying? I won't be able to do much. So yeah, so that was my weekend or whatever. And you guys, like, y'all know when I be doing videos, how I be talking and I'm just always like, you know what I'm saying? I'm always fixing my strap because that's what big boo people gotta do all the time because they always feel like it's falling down. I don't look so far to not having to do that. Okay, I look so far to not having to do that. Um, let me see. Do I have to do anything else? Do I want to say anything else? No, that's it. So they already gave me my prescriptions and stuff for my pain pills and all that I'm going to need. I got that filled today so that way I can um already have it, you know, from coming out of the hospital. I ain't got to stop and get none of that. Um, they did say make sure I wear something that's like a zipper, zip up, zip down, which makes sense. So I already got moo's because I like moo's. I always wear them. I got some little African ones, but they go over my head. So, yeah. So, I went and got me, like, two more of those. And you know what? I was very upset about that. Let me tell you. Like, y'all, when did moves become so high? Like, those shits was, like, 15 bucks in Walmart. Man, I was in my feelings. They wasn't even cute. They were ugly as hell. So, I got two of them, though. So, when I'm recording my updates, y'all will see me in them same two. Well, I think I got, like, an old. I got I got a few old ones, though. But y'all will see me in them same damn two uh, moves because, like, I just... Yeah, $15. I'm not about to buy. I'm not about to buy plenty of those. Like, I'm not going to do that. If that's just a waste of money because I'm not going to do anything with that. Yeah, so anyways, um, I'm going to try to take some pictures so I can, um, you know, show you guys. It, when I figure out how to censor my video, I'll show you guys. Um, So, because uh, I just need you to see, like, y'all can see how big these things is. But when I take, um, when I take this off, they kind of fall to, like, right here. They're, like, right there. They kind of fall to right there. And so, you know, yeah, I just want you guys to just get a visual. And then because I got a big boo, like my areola is like this wide. Like my areola is like that big. 
like real talk is so big so i don't know i was a little nervous too about that part about like the nipple and stuff but he told me like the nipple is attached like through here so they just pick it up and move it out the way and you know you keep the same nipple they just kind of i don't know according to my like the way my friend will look it looked like it's just like copying and paste on <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. I don't know. But anyways, I'm just rambling. So let me stop talking so I can just, um, you know, go finish doing what I got to do. Uh, I will be doing my TLC videos while I'm down, you guys, because I can still run my mouth. So that'll be fine. I'll be doing that. Um, and, you know, giving you my little updates or whatever. Um, I'm going to show you guys when I do take off the bandages after 48 hours and, you know, prepare to cry and shit when I can finally shower and all that. I'm going to show you guys and yeah so we'll just go from there anyways i hope you guys are having a great week it is sunday if you are in the business whatever you are doing um write your goals down start planning people don't plan to fail they fail to plan so make sure you plan write your stuff down and do what you gotta do and i'll see you guys next time say goodbye to these say goodbye bye